A car chase ends with a bang when a Jeep launches into the air. Something out of Dukes of Hazard. And crashes into a bank. You just don't see people go through a brick wall like that and, and survive. August 18th, 2002, just outside Dayton, Ohio. About 2 o'clock in the morning, State Trooper Kyle Albright is on the lookout for drunk drivers. At a red light, he spots a potential violator. As he turned left in front of me, I realized that hmm, he doesn't have any lights on. But instead of pulling over, the suspect hits the gas. I thought, well, I've got a drunk. He doesn't want to get caught. He's going to try and lose me and get home so he can be safe. The chase is on. The vehicles travel at speeds pushing 100 miles an hour through a residential area. Albright stays on the Jeep's tail as they approach an intersection with a bank on the corner. The bank Albright uses himself. There's a rise at every entrance. He just thought, well, I can make this turn. Going that fast, 90 mile an hour, you're not going to make a 90 degree turn that quickly. The Jeep launches up an embankment and goes airborne. It bursts through the wall of the bank. It flew all the way across the parking lot and it never touched the ground until it hit the bank wall and into the bank. The distance is about 80, almost 90 feet. Albright can't believe his eyes. He went 14 to 15 feet high when he ramped it because his passenger side mirror hit the light pole right beside the bank. That was 13 feet up. Trooper Albright pulls into the bank's parking lot and calls for backup. As he cautiously approaches the bank, he expects the worst. When he first hit the bank, I thought, oh my God, I'm going to have dead people. To Albright's surprise, the driver, Marcus Turner, and his passenger, Carl Hankerson, are very much alive. I see two sets of feet diving over the counter inside the bank to try and hide. So I just kind of kept walking back and forth from the front to the back until other officers arrived and then we surrounded the building. Hankerson and Turner give up and turn themselves in. They acted like it was no big deal. It's like, it's two o'clock in the morning, you crashed a car into the bank, there's a problem here. It turns out the suspects are not drunk. Officers discover that the high-flying Jeep was stolen that night from a local dealership. But that's just the beginning. After we searched them, there were 24 more sets of keys that they had taken from this dealership that they had stolen the car from. Had they not been caught, they could have easily gone back and taken more cars. The driver, Michael Turner, is convicted on multiple charges, including breaking and entering and grand theft auto, and is sentenced to one year in prison. Charges are dismissed for passenger Carl Hankerson. But to Trooper Albright, the most shocking part of that night is not that the suspects make it out alive or even the gaping hole in the wall. It's the fact that through all of the damage, the bank's alarm doesn't go off. To me, it should have set some sort of alarm off with a big hole in the wall, but it didn't. Next day, I closed my accounts and I went to a new bank.